Everybody good? Hey, man, hey, well, okay, five yard penalty, encroachment, okay? Everybody good? Good, okay, good deal. Okay, Lonnie, go ahead. Now. All right, I'll get started. I'll, I'll give a little brief opening statement, Lonnie. Don't get ahead of yourself, all right? But, uh, um, no, it was a good scrimmage, uh, got some good work in, um, came out of there relatively healthy, nothing major, which is always good in the spring. And uh, getting out and tackling for the first time uh, was a, a sloppy at times, and uh, you would expect that. And that's why we have to go live uh, to get out there and, and uh, go full tilt. Everybody but the quarterbacks were live. And, uh, you know, so both sides did some good things, made some big plays uh, on both sides of the ball. A lot to build on, and we got to get better here in the last week or so of spring ball. Go ahead, Lonnie. <laughs> okay. Go. Let's see if you just wait for the opening. Yeah. Yeah. Has yeah. it been weird to get into a rhythm this spring? I mean, do you have the start of the week and then take a break and then the cold? Yeah, it's been a little different. It has. Um, you know, with, right from the start with having to push it back a week and. Um, and then coming back right after spring and going four instead of three, we had a couple of minor injuries that week as well. And um, so we weren't in our normal flow. But the good thing is, is we have a lot of veteran guys. Um, again, with the system, even though there's some differences offensively, there's a lot to carry over. So uh, we're still getting a lot of good work, and, and uh, it's coming together. Uh, but it is a, a bit more inconsistent in the spring with going every other day and uh, with the weather not be cooperating much. It was really nice out there today, um, but I'd like to get outside a little more. Speaking of which, what, how do you feel about the leadership of the team? Yeah, really, really strong leadership. You know, uh, you know, you look at the offensive side of the ball, and the offensive line has always had great uh, leadership. And you got Kenneth, you know, in there with a lot of other veterans. And then, uh, you know, with Will, the team's going to follow Will. And he has a really strong presence about him. It was evident last year when he got voted a captain with only being on campus a few months. So, um, you know, Will is really strong. And then defensively, you look at our backers and, you know, just JJ and, and um, the two inside guys, you know, DeAndre and, and those guys have been around forever. So, uh, really strong leadership there as well. So, um, you know, was, we're always constantly trying to develop the next leaders and you know and uh, so always trying to get better in that area. What is the scrimmage like today due to the progress? How big is this day? It, it's it's always good just to get out there and let it go. You know, get off the field, get on the headsets and just, you know, play it as as much like a game as you possibly can. Obviously the quarterbacks aren't live and they're still a little bit comfortable back there. Um, so uh, but it's you know it's good for the overall structure. And just, uh, you know, for the defensive guys, it's hard. You know, we can't go live all the time. I mean, you get guys injured, you get guys banged up. Um, but you have to cut it loose and get out there. And like I mentioned, you know, there's some sloppy tackling, but that's to be expected when we haven't been live since January 1st. So, uh, you know, they have to uh, constantly get better in that area. Rich talked about the offense struggling Tuesday. How have they kind of progressed since then? How have they fared out there today? Yeah, much better Thursday. There was there were there were some ups and downs in the practice Thursday, but came, they came out really hot and did some really good things. And then uh, today it was it was it was rather even, I'd say today. You know, usually maybe you somebody might ask me what side may win, and uh, I felt like it was relatively even today. Um, felt like the offense uh, made some really good plays. They had some sustained drives. Um, you know, Will made some really good throws. Bo made some good throws as well. We 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 could have could have looked a little better had we made some difficult catches on some shots. Um, but overall, really good. I talk about Mag Will. Uh, he, he seems to be more polished than the rest of them. Yeah, Chauncey made a really difficult catch today on a third down. He made a really uh, over the middle went up and took a good shot and came down with the football and kept the drive going. So it was good to see him make that tough catch. So he's progressing and getting better. With, with Will, watching him Tuesday, I know he threw a couple interceptions, maybe not the day Rich wanted, but still, he still looks like he's jumped up a level in confidence and oh, just yeah. being sure of himself and knowing what to do. Is that, is that what you guys have seen as well? Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Um, 
you know, with Tuesday, with, with that. I mean, some of that stuff, the way we were trapping and doing some different things. Like, he, he hadn't even seen that yet. And the deflection and, you know, have balls. So, uh, you know, there was no turnovers today. And um, I don't think there was any Thursday. Um, but he is very confident. And he's, he's – it's really nice to see, uh, Will, as I mentioned early on, what, what I was looking for. You know, you bring somebody like Rich in here, and Will knows, like, he's going to get better. And uh, he, he's out there every rep with the intention of being the absolute best player he can be. And things still move fast. You get out there in scrimmages and games, and things move, move, move quickly. Um, but uh, he's very confident, and uh, he's definitely going to take it to another level and be a, be a, a really great player. Speaking of Will, how did the pro day go yesterday? What was the feedback you got? It seemed like they were pretty smitten. Those guys were pretty smitten. No, it, yeah, there's no doubt. He just get out there and give him a, give him a little taste and just see him live. I mean, he's uh, you know he's got everything uh, they're looking for to be a high pick, to be a franchise quarterback. So um, you know the sky's the limit for him there. But you know that again, you can't get ahead of yourself. I mean, he's here to get better. Um, you know, he has aspirations to to you know to do great things, and he will. But it's it's one day at a time, and and that's what I like to what I what I really love what I'm seeing out of him is just just really trying to be better every day. Yeah. Well, we probably don't because he, he's, um, you know, as I mentioned, the, the leadership qualities that he has, people are attracted to him. He has a genuine leadership, you know, ability, which is, you know, extremely important. Uh, to be a franchise quarterback, um, but he's ex also very intelligent. You know, he's 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 intelligent in, in the classroom, but but also on the football field, and he works at it. You know, he works at it. He wants to be great, and and uh, loves putting in the time. So he has all the intangibles. How does that make it easier for the receivers? You know, there's obviously a lot of guys and new faces that are going to. It, it it definitely will help us. You know. Um, that that's what I was looking for. I mean, as you get a quarterback like that, that'll help the overall growth. It'll help everybody get better. And just the simple things, the routine. And you're starting to see that, and then you see guys step up, like Chauncey made one today, and just guys make difficult catches and uh, keep the chains moving. With the spring game weekend, what do you want to see out of this group this next week you put Vance come out and get yeah. Jeffrey Just for us to be much more consistent, much more polished, you know, across the board. Um, Still have to figure out the configuration there for the spring game because you do get a little thin at certain positions in the spring, and if we just separate the teams evenly, it leaves you a little thin in certain positions. So we're, we've talked about a couple things with the staff. I got to continue to maybe look at it uh, where we, you know, want to do a traditional spring game where you divide the team, but maybe have some guys that can flop over defensively because we get thin. Well, because I had to because of the hire. For the offensive coordinator. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Well, you know, you could move the spring game, but I didn't want to do that because it was already set with fans and everything, and and people have done that. That that's not. Is it unusual? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's typical, but I mean. My brother at Oklahoma has done that for years, I and mean, a lot of people do come back after the spring game and have a couple practices. So it's not totally uncommon. Right. So Buford out there with the ones during the mm -hmm. practice. Has he been yeah. showing something there? He has. Yeah, he's really done a nice job. He's worked hard and getting better and uh, has the ability, and, the, and he's getting more and more confident and doing some good things. How exciting is what Tavian brings to the table? How exciting is the fans going to see him? Yeah. Tavion, he's really uh, done a nice job. We needed him. Um, comes in, he's got the experience. He's very smooth. Uh, he makes tough catches, so he's playing playing some good football. Going back to the O-line, did you see any difference in that group, maybe from this time last year to this year, in terms of just across the board? Or oh, there's there's some there's some new faces in there. But uh, the nice thing is, is you look out there and you still see a big physical group. And that's what we want to be. So uh, these guys are, it's their, their opportunity, their time. And, you know, just, you know, seeing DeAndre out there and, and Jeremy at the other side, I mean, those are some big dudes. And uh, they can move. And so uh, they're getting their opportunity. So we'll see where it goes. Everybody good? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.